The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, said the Federal Executive Council has approved a budget estimate of 13.08 trillion naira for the 2021 fiscal year. The fiscal document was approved at a meeting of the Council on Wednesday, presided over by President Muhammad Buhari. Joining us via Zoom to discuss this figure is economist Tunji Andrews. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. The minister said uh, the pro budget uh, proposal was predicated on $379 exchange rate, oil benchmark of $40 per barrel. What happens if the oil prices fall below the benchmark like we saw during the pandemic? We do the same thing we've been doing for the last five, six years. I don't know. Um, we pretend that we do not know the numbers and we pretend we do not know the reality. And when it does hit, which it always does hit, we go to borrow. We just borrow. I mean, it's, it's something we've seen as a consistent reoccurring theme uh, with the Nigerian budget for the last maybe six years or so. There's always a time where we um, are talking about uh, a supplementary budget and then we're going to the National Assembly to um, uh, approve that. And, and it just tells you something about our planning as a country as a whole. If every single time we have a budget, because you know a budget is a plan. It's a plan on estimates, and I think you should learn from, pre from previous budgets. But if every single time we have a budget, we simply have to always go back and, you know, borrow some more. Um, it just tells you something about us. I mean, even the Bible says something a, a bit uh, uh, towards if, you, if, you, if you're planning, you need to plan properly so that you do not come back halfway asking for more money. All right, the, the 2020 budget, um, the government also included the budget of about 10 government-owned enterprises' um, uh, budgets. And, and then in 2021, we brought in 60. Um, do you think this will make any difference? You see, my problem is this. Um, if a company uh, and a business enterprise is going through difficult times. What that business enterprise ultimately does is that it reduces overhead or increases revenue. One of the two, you have to do one of the two to survive, is either you make more money or you reduce your expenses. In the case of Nigeria, we've not increased our, uh, our revenue. Um, maybe it's difficult for us to do that. We, we can argue that. But what is also very baffling is that we've also dramatically in increased our expenses. Now, people might want to say, oh, this, this um, government-owned enterprises are necessary, they're important. Um, but I know because Nigeria is not the only country in the world. There are other countries doing similar things. We could have uh, found other ways to be able to create these entities without them you know, leaning on government money. We could have found private enterprise. We could have found it. PPP arrangements. We could have found many different arrangements to be able to do this, but as the Nigerian government, and I'm not talking about this, this particular administration, I'm talking about all administrations in the past, seem to always believe that the best way to do anything is to spend money, and they want to always be the ones spending money. So I'm not pleased with it. I think we should be trying to reduce our expense by any means necessary at this particular time. So it ob obviously doesn't seem like we're doing anything different um, um, from the past and even going forward. You, you know, you know that is that is my 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 real peeve. Um, you know, when I saw the um, the the headlines uh, yesterday, I think, and I, I read through it, I was, you know, I I I, I had something inside me hoping that there was something new, hoping that there was a different strategy. But it's the same. You can go back to every budget over the last six years. I remove the figures, I remove the um, finance minister, you will see that it is the same exact lettering. It is the same, we're trying to unlock the economy, we're trying to diversify the economy, we're trying to, it's the same exact rhetoric, and we do the same thing. All you have to do is come back in February, come back in July, you will realize that this budget that we're all talking about now was not planned out properly. And we have to have supplementary budgets maybe two or three times before the end of the year. It just, it just gets you crazy sometimes. All right. I, I want you to quickly also speak on this. We, we have a, well, I'll expand this conversation. We have a total aggregate um, revenue of about $7.89 and also an aggregate expenditure 
of 13.08 trillion naira uh, for 2021. There's also a fiscal deficit of about uh, 4.49 trillion naira, um, which represents about 3.64.